Many people in my Facebook feed, especially in my LGBT circles, are becoming more and more unhinged the closer we get to the election. Many of them are explicitly saying that if anyone in their feed defends Trump in any way for anything, no matter what it is, no matter how small or insignificant, no matter how many times someone says that they're voting for Biden and that they hate Trump and they're voting blue all the way down the line, and that if people support even a single decision that Trump has made at any time during his presidency, ever, that it means that they support everything that Trump has said and done during his presidency. And of course it means that they're blocked. No nuance, no gray area, and there's no such thing as individual issues. Nope. If you support even one thing that Trump has ever said or done, it means you support everything that he's done. And you deserve all the scorn in the world, you deserve to be called a fascist, and you most definitely deserve to be blocked. I even see people posting that they've cut off all contact from members of their biological families because those family members support Trump or have said something good about Trump in any way. They're family members. I continually see people posting that the United States is experiencing the same thing as Germany did in the late 1930s. I've seen some of my LGBT friends say that if Trump is elected again, that he'll round up gay people, black people, and other minorities and put them in concentration camps. I've seen people terrified for their very lives that the Trump administration is going to come for them. Not just the notion that Trump wants to take away gay marriage, which is still highly unlikely. Nope. It's the notion that the Trump administration is going to come for them and put them in concentration camps. They're literally in fear of their lives. And there's no way to comfort these unhinged people. Because if you try to comfort them, they'll say that you're supporting Trump. And of course, you'll be blocked and permanently removed from their lives. And they'll badmouth you to all of their friends. And similar to what Vouch said, these people believe that Republicans want to kill gay people, black people, and the only reason why they want women around is to create babies. These people are unhinged. These people have completely lost their minds, and this is spreading. If we think it's bad now, then imagine how bad it's going to be if Trump gets reelected. Oh yeah, and most of these same people are also saying that if Trump gets re-elected, that it will be the last genuine election this country will ever have. They believe this wholeheartedly. They're 100% convinced of this. In the past couple months, I've seen and heard more times than I can count people saying illegal things about Trump. The hatred is real, the division is extreme, and the fear is all-encompassing. And yet these same people will try to claim that they're all about love. They're all about unity. And then I read in several articles about people planning riots if Trump wins again. What a joyous scenario. And I'm supposed to believe that the right wing are the ones causing all the division. And don't get me wrong. Many people on the right are suggesting and sometimes just blatantly saying that if you support the Democrats in any way, on any issue, that you actually support the extremes of the far left and that you support communism. People like Mark Dice are really good at it. People pushing that if you support Biden, that you support abolishing the police, that you want to destroy the Bill of Rights, especially the First and Second Amendments, that you believe in forced demographical equalization, otherwise known as equality of outcome, that you support rioting, looting, arson, and the murder of proud boys and people who are in the patriot prayer movement. Now, there are people on the left who represent those things, but it's certainly not just people 
who consider themselves Democrats. Sure, there are people who support those things who are going to be voting Democrat, but you can't pin those things on the Democrats. You can't pin those things on Biden and Harris. But some of these right-wingers push this sort of notion nevertheless. So yes, things are pretty crazy all around. But it's hard not to see that the left seems to be the ones that are more unhinged than the right at this current time. How bad does it look from your perspective? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.